Hi everybody, it's now time for us to take a look at the first two problems on this handout here. We're going to do that as sort of a uh, review. So in this case, the first problem tells us to determine the length of an arc of, with, of a circle, radius r to measure y degrees. So in this case we have r is 24, y is 135. Uh, remember all of this is just equal is just using the arc length formula we talked about before. So we know the arc length here, I'm going to call it s, is just going to be theta over 360, or in this case I guess y over 360, times 2 pi r. So it's just a matter of substituting the things in. This is going to be 135 over 360 times 2 pi times 24. Now we know 135 over 360, both of them have a 45 in it. So we can cancel this out. So we're down to 3, and 45 here is 8. So it's going to be 3 eighths times 2 pi times 24. The 8 and 24 have a common factor, so we can pull out a 3 here. And we're left with 3 times 2 is 6 times 3 is 18. So this should be 18 pi. Okay? And part B, it's much the same way, it's just slightly different numbers here. You can see we do the same thing here, s is equal to y over 360 times 2 pi r. We can just substitute the numbers, it's going to be 108 over 360 times 2 pi times 5 radical 2 here. So in this case, uh, 108 and 360 have a common factor of 36, so we can yank out a 36 of each of these. So we have 3 over 10 here, so it's going to be 3 over 10 times what appears to be 2 times 5, which is 10 pi radical 2 here. The 10s are going to drop out here, and we're left with 3 pi radical 2. Now, of course, you can write this as 3 radical 2 times pi, but I would advise writing the pi before the radical, because if you write the radical too long, it might, it might be construed as the square root of 2 pi as opposed to square root of 2 times pi. Problem 2 says, a 45 degree arc of circle A has the same length as a 30 degree arc of circle B. Compute the radi uh, ratio, the radius of circle A to the radius of circle B. So we're going to try this one out here. We're going to we'll sketch our two circles here. So we have a circle like this, A, and I'm going to call its radius lower in case A, and this is a 45 degree arc. And we have a second circle here, B. Here's B, and here's a 30 degree arc here, and we're told that these are the same length here. So considering what's going on here, it should make sense that uh, B should be bigger because we have a smaller portion of the circle being equal in length to a larger portion of circle A here. So a matter of now we can try to put this together. So let's take a look at each of the arc lengths here. So this is going to be 45 over 360 times 2 pi times A here for this. And the second circle is going to be 30 over 360 times 2 pi times b for this here. So 45 over 360 is 1 eighth here. So you get uh, 2 pi a, uh, over 8 times a. Uh, and that was, that is now pi over 4 times a. Here we have 30 over 360 times is equal to 2 pi times b. 30 over 360 is a twelfth. So you have a twelfth times 2 pi b. This cancels out, leaving us a uh, pi over 6b. Now we're told these are equal, so we can set them equal to each other. Pi over 4a equals pi over 6b. And now we want to find out the ratio of a to b here. So in this situation, note that the pi's can cancel out because we can divide both sides by pi. And we're left with a over 4 equals b over 6 here. We want to find a over b. So in this case, we can just cross multiply here. We get 6a equals 4b. And then in this case, and then we can divide by b on both sides here. So this goes away. And we're left with 6 times a over b equals 4 over 6. So a over b must therefore be, oh, sorry, uh, 6 is equal to 4. And then we can divide both sides by 6. Now we can divide by 6 here, divide by 6, that goes away. And we're left with finally a over b being equal to 2 over 3 here. So this is going to be our ratio.